Okay. Any abstentions? Right, okay, that's unanimous. Thank you very much. So, as generally, in fact, the real party is of like mind. That's very good. Thank you. Yeah. Right, chaps. We're, we're, we're finishing up now. We've got the BBC crew who are going to do a little bit with us. So, if you want to join in, that'd be great. Thank you. 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 Hello, Mr. Griffin. How are you? How are you doing? Thank you very much. Mr. Esbini, you're And are we doing with you or yes, everyone? Yes, just me. And everyone is staying? Yes. Yep. Why? Why because not? This isn't, you know. Well, well, we're doing it all. How many professional politicians have you interviewed? Quite a few. I've never interviewed them. Well, okay. we're used to it. <laughs> we are, we, we are no other professional politician has been dealt with as I was on question time, but you can see. Let's start off with um, a short statement by Nick Griffin. Thank you. The BBC is blatantly biased against all of us who stand up for traditional Christian values and for the preservation of the identity and culture of the British in general and the English in particular. Because of this, the BBC is institutionally hostile to the British National Party. You'll remember the Question Time lynch mob and the fact that the BBC have once again moved the goalposts to deny us the four further Question Time appearances which we should already have been given. This despite the admission in writing from the BBC producer of this programme that the British National Party is, quote, a major political party, unquote. The last BBC attack on the British National Party involved the use of paid left-wing infiltrator Andy Sykes and an undercover BBC journalist Jason Gwynn, posing as party officials and activists. Those individuals wormed their way into positions of trust that they then betrayed in order to give the BBC the bogus expose they wanted. The BBC smear used their undercover recordings and selective editing in a deliberate effort to have the leader of an elected political party, backed by more than a million voters, thrown into prison for the crime of calling for justice and protection for the innocent young victims of Muslim paedophile gangs. It would be a far better use of taxpayers' money if the BBC would address truly serious social evils and real political scandals, such as the Labour 25 paedophile shame, or the outrage of former ministers taking directorships with companies which benefited financially from their decisions while in government. Fortunately, the BBC attempt to use taxpayers' money to subvert the democratic process by jailing me failed. But give, because of such underhand behaviour by the BBC, we believe that it is incapable of giving the British National Party or any genuine defender of British rights and freedoms a fair hearing. We are being attacked with a tissue of weak and deceitful lies, distortions and half-truths from disgruntled former employees and individuals with axes to grind. Given the BBC's track record of working closely with far-left infiltrators to smear our party, we have no doubt that the same is being done this time around as well. The allegations and fantasies of such biased witnesses are worthless. We can answer all their points, but the trick the BBC is playing on viewers is that of throwing enough mud in the hope that some of it will stick. This is not accidental. The controlled media are experts in manipulating public opinion. This programme is a cynical attempt to brainwash the British public and we refuse to take part in a way that helps the BBC to do so. We will be answering all the allegations made in full, but we'll do so on our own website, bmp.org.uk, because we believe that people have the right to hear complete explanations rather than having the BBC manipulate their minds through smear by association and leaving the truth on the cutting room floor. In addition, if the producer wishes to provide us with specific written questions about any of the allegations, then we will give full written answers for use in the programme. Finally, recognising the genuine popular interest in our party, we challenge the BBC to give a panel of party spokesmen, including myself, a live one-to-one -one interview on Newsnight immediately after the programme is broadcast, so that the issues raised can be discussed openly and fairly without the use of sensationalist propaganda or selective editing. Because of the BBC's shocking record of bias against our party, already outlined in this statement and exposed in much greater depth on our website, that is all we will be saying on this matter. Thank you. Mr Oliver, you are the producer of this Panorama programme. We've got some very serious allegations about the BBC and the staff. We're going to start off with the first one. How much is this programme costing? Why is it that you keep harassing the British National Party. This is the third Mr. programme. Can I, can the I third programme. Let me ask Mr. the questions. Robert, question? The third programme. What Can about these serious allegations? There's very serious... Peter Tell Rowell. About bugging in the BNP. Mr. Peter Rowell. Did the chairman right? ever he is a BBC pre presenter currently on trial for raping children. What about James Raven? James Raven 
James Raven was the man who worked with McIntyre on the cover, who was done for murder. How much money do you personally murder. have? He was, he was, in he court right now. He murdered somebody. How much he money are you somebody. being sued for right he now? He murdered somebody. He's a BBC 20, reporter. Twenty thousand pounds you've got down against your name, is that right? Mur he murdered somebody. You're up. You and your. Mr. Oliver, will you answer Chairman the questions? Will you? Would you? Would you answer those questions about why a convicted murderer was working for a BBC investigative uh, program? His name was James Raven. He tortured somebody in front of his children, tortured them with a staple gun and a branding well, iron. It would be fair Ashley to say Blake. The did not run a Ashley candidate. Ashley Blake. Why won't you answer the question? Why won't you answer the question? Why won't you answer the question? The BBC questions? did not run as these a are candidate. Very serious, these are criminal convictions of murder and convicted. child rape. This the case is going in, in, in October. Peter Rowell, BBC presenter. What about the BBC's expenses? Porn Mr. Oliver, can you tell us about the BBC's expenses? You're shaking. Why won't you answer the questions? £6,400 in expenses for luxury travel well, when be, ordinary, British, be people, expenses, ordinary be. British people Tell us about the European are being expenses. jailed. How do you feel about it? How you much know, have you been We would have loved to have asked your We would have loved to have asked your party your chairman. Salary? We you would get have, public money. We would have loved Why, to have asked your party any chairman. Money. How much are you being paid? Simon, do you know what? How much are you being paid for this? Simon, you're doing it in a very unconventional way. I'm afraid you're not going to get your answers. You're not going to answer our questions? No, because... And you expect us to? No, because you, sir, are... You are a senior officer... To donate to the British National Party, please call 0844 809 4581 or go to www.bnp.org.uk forward slash donations forward slash general. Or you may send your cheque or postal order to P.O. Box 213, Wigton, Cumbria, CA 77AL. Also visit our website on www.bnp.org.uk.